we have rebooted and um, we go and check what has happened with our program that we've installed now we are at the latest 474 Linux Mint last but not least so we installed a lot of software we're going to maybe do the fun stuff first meaning that there is this themes add to favorites move it to the top and we're gonna change the way everything looks let's take Sardem Mononomics Colora and Mint Quite Dark this will be our look this is our new system look and we can change this as well here configure by using quickly Well, we're working on Linux Mint, if you wouldn't see it. And on Variety, let's run that as well. Continue. Participate. I can participate, but um, in order for the movie, I'll use the password later. You can download a lot of stuff. But I do not want the standard background. Not this one, 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 this one, this one. All the ones I don't want are now, well, gone. So, the stopper and the two ones recommended by, you can do this one as well, but then you have to enable VRTE and like this one or not this one. Okay, close. You'll see that you have a little icon here, and now we can scroll over the little icon and your system becomes alive. I will probably miss my shortcuts, so i quickly show you guys that I have here in the data folder, control H. Where is my data folder? Okay, the data folder is here, Ultimate Linux Mint 8 and Cinnamon. Just wanted to have the same shortcuts as I have on my other computers. And I have here the variety of shortcuts. Only thing I have to do is run the dconf load. So it's going to load all the shortcuts. All done, it says. Meaning, if I don't like anything, this this wallpaper or I want just the next, I do Alt N for the next one, Alt P for the previous one, Alt Trash T for to trash something, and Alt F if I like something, a wallpaper that I see. Okay, that's done. Variety is ready because Variety will be used in i3 as well. And uh, Spotify, Spotify is installed, will run as well. And Sublime will work and Nemo will run and work. So all the software that's needed on i3 is present. That's important. The only thing that's maybe not present and that's just um, if you wish to have it is the possibility to download also the themes. And Eric Dubois you have also this theme, themes icons pack and let's make a complete movie, complete customization and let's get that as well but just not everything just a bit open internal a bit cloning the colors you're seeing these things here are a zsh we installed it earlier on and each time i take another terminal it will get other colors nice so Teams icons back. The only thing that interests me now is this one. I have icons already, not all of them, but I have icons. And I will only want to have the themes, arc theme, mint y theme. So okay, let's run that. So when I'm in in uh, i3, everything is available in Alex appearance. 
no X appearance. It will come later in I3. Let's pause the movie a bit, spare some time. We're almost there. The last themes have been installed and that's all we're gonna need. So what we've done is the following. We installed Clean Installation Linux Mint. Then we went to the i3 GitHub. We installed everything there. Then we went to the Linux Mint 18 Ultimate installed software because otherwise I can't show you. And then we went to the themes to have some themes when we are in i3. So those were the that's the order. And now it's time to log off and log on again and check out i3.